Greetings fellow beardsmen and other interested parties. Don't know about you, but I don't usually win competitions. But a couple of weeks back, I actually sat in on a beard brand podcast, one of these live shows, and I got selected randomly for a prize, a $50 voucher for beard brand products. So I went ahead and bought two of their silver line products, Styling Balm. Tree Ranger and Spiced Citrus. Let's have a look, shall we? Hello everyone and welcome back to the Year Challenge. So we're having a look at a couple of these beard brand products. These styling balms. Now the silver line of beard brand is like their, their middle line. They have a gold line, which is the really uh, top, top notch stuff and they have a kind of a basics line at the bottom. This is, this is the kind of a, a, a bit in the middle. And I've got these two here. Chose these two flavors, spiced citrus, because, well, this is a mixture of orange and cloves, and that matches perfectly well with my mix at home beard oil, my orange and clove beard oil. So I thought I'd give that a, get a, a shot. And Tree Ranger, uh, which is a, a, a kind of wood sort of smell, uh, let's have a, have a try at the smell of this one. This is Tree Ranger. It reminds me very much of uh, a new fence in your garden that you've just painted with creosote. It's got this almost lumberyard type uh, smell to it, which it's, it's fairly strong, but not overwhelmingly so, reasonably subtle. And it is a very nice perfume. I love it. It's, it's really good stuff. This is my favorite of the two, actually, strangely. Uh, the one that I prefer. So the, the flavour, the, the scent rather, is not overwhelming and it doesn't last forever. It's not one of these ones that is really, you know, the scent being the main thing. It's a bit more subtle than that, but very pleasant, a really good experience. The actual stuff itself, uh, let's see if I can give you a close up on that, is it's almost like a sort of mousse. It's quite creamy to, to the touch. I'm just going to put a bit on here. But it feels almost like you're putting a high quality moisturizer on your beard. It's all, you sort of expect it to be like some sort of cream that stays stuck in the beard, but it all sort of vanishes into the beard. It's really effective and nice stuff. It smells great and it lasts well. It's a good hold, especially for a short beard like mine. It does a, a really good job. So I'm pleased with these two. They've both got a really good sense. They both hold well. They seem expensive at first glance. I got that $50 voucher. I had to add another $10, total $60, to get these two, uh, which is a pretty fair price for somebody who's retired like me. But then again, you actually get 100 mil of product for that, uh, that, um, that, that uh, $60. In fact, you get 200 mil, two bottles of 100 mil each. So you actually get quite a big amount. It does work out not being so expensive as you first think. So they're definitely worth a go. If you haven't tried them, but they might be a bit beyond your price reach. As I can say again, I, I, I thought once I saw the price, I'd never buy these again uh, after now, simply because they were so expensive. But actually, I think they're going to last forever. You don't need to apply <clears throat> a lot of them. So these are styling balms rather than utility balms. So they're there primarily to give hold to your beard and potentially also your, your, your moustache, which they do pretty effectively. So they're very nice products. I would certainly recommend those to anybody, particularly in the States where I'm sure these are much more common than they are currently here in the UK. So that's just a quick look at some beard brand products. At least I can say now that I've tried them Maybe many of you can uh, give your feedback down below to say what your experience was. I'm sure lots of you have tried them also. Take care now, everyone. Bye.